91%. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch God's good luck. Andre Ward, Shakur Stevenson through the years has heen percent of their total punches against him. Do what he did in the Valdez fight. He's got to stick to his game plan. Golden opportunity for Conceição. Watch your feet. Watch your Shining feet. moment for Stevenson here at home before he goes to the top heavy, big name, 135 pound division. Conceição said his corner told him to change up strategy. I get that. Listen to your corner as long as they're telling you the right instructions. Those were not the right instructions for Conceição on that night. Is going to be fought. Conceição, believe it or not, does not just want to pressure Shakur. He actually wants to try to box with the boxer. That doesn't, hasn't proven to be, be, be the right plan for anybody in his previous fights. But he's also a gold medalist, and he also has pedigree. Drake, last pound and a half. Can seem like the end of the world. Your body can shut down sometimes. That's what happened with Stevenson. Boy, that power hand just came in from Shakur Stevenson. That sharp, accurate, powerful left hand. See how much thicker he is in the torso, across the shoulders, the muscularity, especially. Glimpse of what you're. Shakur goes with the left of the belt line himself. Stevenson Conceição from Newark. Stevenson and Robson Conceição. Round number two. Joe Tessitore, Andre Ward with you ringside. Doesn't mean he won't land shots. Doesn't mean that he can't have good moments. But you have a fighter that had to work really hard to try to make a weight. To me, it makes sense to start at a fast pace. Yes. You can box in spots, but fighting would really benefit Conceição out early in this fight. Especially when you hear the details of Stevenson describing how drained he was, how his body had nothing more to give, nothing more to sweat out at one. Opinion, some may be justified, others won't. But he made a decision for his safety. He wanted to make sure he had enough for the fight tonight. And all you can do is be sincere and apologize. And he did just that. And, yet, and he did part of the game. You sign and you're contracted right. for a weight. You have to make it. And he was penalized. He, he paid was. the commission a fee and he paid Conceição a fee as well. Three punch combination from Shakur trying to punch between the punches that time. And now Conceição does come in with the right hand before tying up. Conceição's been pretty predictable thus far in these first two rounds. Put a big right hand to the body or the head of Shakur Stevenson. Left hand to the body comes in. Left hand up top from Shakur. Right hand to the body from Conceição. A little bit more to pile up points, to get his range, and to keep Conceição off balance and blinded from that left hand. He's only made it 12% of his jabs to this point. Paul with it, but shoot the jab as well. There's the jab, doubles it up, goes back to it, able to get away from the right hand from the Brazilian. It gives Conceição something to go through before he thinks. The right hand to the body from Conceição. Here, start round number three. Shakur Stevenson had a 19 to 7 connect advantage in that second round, but Dre, each man had his moments. Yeah, both fighters are starting to connect just a little bit more. Stevenson connecting more than Conceição, but Conceição is dangerous, especially when he punches with Shakur. Like you see right there, Shakur throws and Conceição throws. He has success when he does that. But Shakur coming behind the right jab, he has the most success when he lands that beautiful straight left hand. That is a natural punch for a southpaw of heads in that round as well. When Shakur went back to the corner, you saw his grandfather and chief second, Wally Moses, turn to the referee, David Fields, and say there was a clash, there was a clash. There was a slight abrasion between the eyes of Shakur. Here's the clash of heads right there. It was just enough that it got their attention in the corner. Good straight left from Shakur. Conceição tried to catch Shakur and did catch him in that sequence right there. Shakur has got to mind his defense for as long as Conceição standing up because fundamentals are essential. Oh, good left uppercut in the midst of that exchange from Shakur Stevenson. As Conceição was taking you and you had your legs under you and just shoot the shots. Nothing spectacular, just fundamentals. And now the pace picks up here in round three. And this is that awkwardness from Conceição. Odd angles, hands down, surging in. Shakur smiling right in his face. 
nearly clipped him with the right hook, went low with the left hand, and gets the second warning in the opening half of that fight. Nothing like the pace we're seeing here. The action intensifying in round three. Comes back with a counter left hand to Shakur. Now probing with that jab. We're going to split the guard. Instead goes. Crowd enjoying round three here in Newark. Stevenson body shot. Joe Dre, Bernardo, and Mark with you here in Newark, New Jersey. Round number four in that last round. Stevenson had a 19 connect advantage. Has a 41 to 21 punch connect advantage overall. Have going. Conceição was hurt in that round. And then an interesting comment before he went off to go to this fourth round. He said, just don't get bored out there. Don't get bored. Don't lose focus. We said that the whole night about how dangerous Conceição is, particularly with the right hand. And they feel like they're breaking Conceição down. I think it's the start of that because Shakur landed some good body shots early on. He needs to stay down low. And he's landed some clean flush. Fell in, shot right there. and it was a left hand that struck from Shakur. When the boxer is looking like the fighter and is walking you down, you know you have trouble. And that's what's happening here in round four. And that's what's been happening more and more in the career of Stevenson as he grows into that man strength we've described. Yes, an elite boxer. Yes, wildly skilled. But showing that strength, that power. Stevenson should go down to the body even more right now. Able to get away from that right hand from Conseil South. You can see his comfort with another right hook. Stevenson in control here in round four. Dug underneath with a left hand to the body. Conseil South takes that big step test. Boy, he does. throws that right hand. He's tipping Shakur off every time. The end of the fourth round, there was a left hand to the body from Shakur Stevenson. There was a delayed reaction from Robson Conceição with just a second to go in the round. This was ruled a knockdown, Dre, and it was. There's the left hand. Oh, yeah. Here's the delayed reaction. Oh, yeah. But perhaps because you see the arms pushing down, many thought it wasn't. But that was a clean, that was a hard left hand to the body that scores the knockdown with one second to go in round four. Start of round five now. His face because he doesn't want to give up that side of the body again. You had just said Shakur Stevenson should go to the body more and more. He did there in that fourth round with seven clean body punches. The final one scoring a knockdown. See if he can put that jab out there. There's a left hand. They took an angle and went with the right hand to the body. Came back with the right hook. Left uppercut leads the way this time. Good shot from Kasex out of eighth round. And trading body punches and then a clipping right hand. Another left hand to the body, coming back with the right hook. Head movement by Conceição saves the day for him. Pitch is doing exactly what he want, wants it to do, which is drain and discourage Conceição. Good shot from Conceição. He's always dangerous. On well, that right hand sitting there. The highest grossing boxing event in the history of this arena. And of course, it's because their hometown hero is back. Of course, Stevenson returning after winning world championships in two divisions. Dre, you said point to the body punches. Well, look at them there. 30 of 80. And one of them. Stevenson now with his opponent against the ropes. You know he's going to go to the body there. The first phase for sure. to stop believing he can win and to just try to land one big shot. Phase two and three is underway. Now has a game plan anymore. I think he's trying to land one big shot. Left hand lands flush. It's a mean shot. Opened up, got tagged again there. And now here comes Stevenson. 
Shots are landing because Kase South thinks Shakur is going to the body. He protects himself down low. Boom. Oh, big left hand up top. Shot lands up top. Put it all in the bank to the body, and now he's going head hunting here in round six. Can't defend both the head and the body at the same time. Stevenson stepping to him. Conceição clearly affected. Big round for Shakur. Welterweight champion, who's been like a big brother to Shakur. Saquon Barkley. Shots like this at will. You see Shakur go, look like he's gonna go down low. Kansai Sal tries to protect this. Round number seven. Joe Tessitore, Andre Ward with you ringside here. Bernardo Asuna, our ace reporter here in Newark, New Jersey, where this crowd has been anticipating the return and they're getting exactly fight high 18 power punches, 23 total punches. Something fast. What is it, back Trey? In this fight. What does he's, he have to find? He's got to land some shots, which is not an easy task. But sitting there and receiving all of Shakur's punches is not the answer either. This point is at 13 point, 13 percent of his total punches landed. That's it. All over the place. And now he's down on the canvas. That is a slip. He's not only physically fatigued. And a sharp left hand comes in again from Shakur. And then you get surprised because you say he wasn't supposed to be able to punch. And then you get hurt. Gold medalist who has fought for a world title and was ahead on the scorecards. Breaking down. End of seven. Another dominant round for Shakur Stevenson. Eighth round. Stevenson parries that left hand, comes back with one of his own. Be willing to stay there and get your shots off. And I think that's where Stevenson is at right now. That whole right side of Kansai Sal been getting abused by Stevenson. It really has. To the head. He goes to the body again. I'll say so. Three punch combination. Still Stevenson throwing. with the head movement. Kansai Sal still throwing. As he should be. And he's landing. Remember, he didn't have to take this fight. He could have cashed out. He could have said, listen, you didn't make weight. I'll fight for a vacant belt and I'll take my purse. Right hand from Conceição. Good right hand. Two good right hands. Finds a moment of confidence, Dre. That was awkward. Came in, got off balance, spun himself around. Better left round hand for straight low. Test. Left hand, but the straight left to the body. It's hard to defend. He's got a lot of power on it and leverage. Scored on him, and he didn't take the bait. Just took a short left hand there against a very game and feisty Robson Conte South. Shakur with a 143 to 44 connect advantage. In that house because Conte South is not making it easy. And I will remind you, he's still dangerous. Just off. Conte South can compute those shots and even block some of those shots because he knows at what veracity they're coming at. The adjustment. Now Shakur returns with a hip toss of his own and complains to David Fields. He was around my neck. See how Fields addresses this. One point deduction for the hip toss. A little bit more variation with his approach. He would have some more success with that right hand, but he keeps coming the same way. He does land it a in his case. So we come to the end of round number nine, a round that improved the first point deduction in the career of Shakur Stevenson. Through consent. The gas pedal a bit in that ninth round. Only well, landed 11 punches. His low total going back to the first round, which was just to feel him out. I want to see if Stevenson can find a way to get Kase Sal out of there. Can I had a sense that could have happened a few rounds ago. There was a doctor's visit 
at the end of seven. I'd say Sal down, and I think he needs to come with a different game plan. He needs to pick up his rhythm, similar to what Bo Mack told Keyshawn Davis, change it up, the big shot will come to him. Good right hand from Kase Sal. Good answer from Shakur. That was a straighter right hand. And again, he tosses him. Remember, there was a point deduction moments ago. Don't do that no more, man. You understand? Don't do it on the floor. Ain't no excuses for me. because they are just as frustrated at times as their fighter is talking about the holding some of the tactics by Robson Conseil South wants to please this crowd how he wants to lock in and get to the next level with a performance tonight he has closed this six minutes out strong and I think he can but Conseil South doesn't always get the memo and remain dangerous oh good shot right there it's those kind of shots That's that right. can help him to do it ice in this round Doubles up the left hand. Conseil Sal hasn't thrown very. He's hoping that Shakur doesn't. Oh, there's that it. left uppercut. That shot also hurt Conseil Sal. Viper strike it was. Stevenson locked in here halfway through. <laughs> Off balance. See how Stevenson approaches it here. Final minute of round 11. Goes back to the body. Right hook. Crowd anticipating Stevenson. Sweeping right hook. He won in the game. Look at the distance between their feet. He does distance as well as anybody, probably better. That 10th round TKO. It's the legs, Tess. That distance and range that we talk about, it all starts with the legs. And Conseil Sao was supposed to throw more punches than should. Nearly got clipped with a counter left hand there. But he has been taken to the. Seconds away from having a distance fight, even as one sided as it's been with Stevenson in complete control. No, he got close. Stevenson, but Conseil South's crafty and he's tough. Uh, you gotta earn it. Wipe off those gloves, get through this last half. The 135 pound division will await Shakur Stevenson. Names like Devin Haney, the silly Lomachenko, and so many more. And what a ride it's going to be with super fights to come. And perhaps another return here at home. Welcome. 117 109. John Signorile has the bout 117 118 108. And Steve Weisfeld has the bout 117 109. For your winner by unanimous decision, Shaku. Shakur Stevenson, welcome home. Unanimous decision win. Keep in mind when you hear those scores, there was a point deduction.